Hi, this is Deanna with Stitches Quilting, and I have had the most absolute pleasure of being in a class with Laura Heine. Did I say that right? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> and um, I have been waiting for years to go to a class with her. And I don't know if you remember who Laura might be, but she does these beautiful collage quilts, and they're just incredible. And she has an art form down. And it was such a pleasure being here with you this weekend. So Thank tell you. us how you kind of got started. And um, well, originally, I when I first started quilting about 30 years ago, I did mostly watercolor quilts, which is on the same track as what I'm doing now, except we're just cutting out motifs now instead of piecing little squares together. And you're playing with color and value, and you don't even really realize that you are learning about color and value while you're creating your project. Absolutely. And I have to tell you, I've been quilting a long time, and I remember the, the kind of quilts that you're talking about where it was a color wash. And I remember that technique. I remember buying books on that, but I never learned it. And so I, it was so therapeutic to be here this weekend because I got to use these fantastic scissors that she recommends, and they yes. are Karen. Karen K. Buckley yes. scissors. And the reason I like them is they have serrated edges. And for doing collage, it's nice because the serrated edges prevent fraying. Yes, so as you cut a mm -hmm. motif like this, and ladies, it was so therapeutic to be here and to make this quilt because don't you love to touch fabric? But I got to touch it and then cut it out, you know, <laughs> and keep cutting. Right. But I'm cutting it with these scissors so they won't fray. Because you can see here, here's Mr. Emerson, which is the cute little puppy right here. And I guess we can bring this forward to show. But what she's done is she's just overlaying these beautiful fabrics. And you can see on there. They're all stacked on top of each other. There are some underlays, which means pieces that are under florals or other motifs. But you group your colors into colors and or values yes. to create your one of a kind quilt. Even though it, when you're in my class, everybody's required to have a kit, but everybody's turns out completely different. It's kind of amazing and fun. And it was so it. wonderful to purchase your kit as to start out because by purchasing the kit, I could see her mythology of the fabrics that you were selecting and the, the things like that to right. actually be able to execute it and to have it turn out like this. Right. And to be able to learn the techniques and those kind of things. The other thing that was fun way back when, well, it still is, are I Spy quotes. But I love this mm -hmm. because you can see in here, she, there's like things hidden. And here's a little cat hidden, or there might be a bird or a butterfly, or, you know, in here's a kitty, right? Yeah, here's and, his name. Yeah, and it's so fun to study this and, and to create these. It really is. So let me tell you what I decided to work on. I did buy a kit for Emerson. I'm going to go home and make him. I might make him look a little bit more like like our, your dog? Our King Charles yeah. Cavaliers. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see how I do. I'll, <laughs> you'll see everything on social media. Please. But, but I decided to make Old Blue. And this is what I was making. And this is going to go in my husband's office. It's really industrial, and he's an attorney. And I think this will give a nice, soft look right. of Old Blue in his office. So right. I'm really excited about this. And he's excited about it, too. Mm -hmm. And he's filming right now. Aren't you excited about this, Corey? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. So I made old blue, and I, I am, I'm waiting to purchase the dress for next month because we're gonna budget this. I'm not gonna go right. crazy. <laughs> right. Okay. So ladies, when you, what was so wonderful about this was actually learning new techniques because I have been quilting for forever. And to just come at it with a completely different approach mm -hmm. of that we don't have to be always piecing fabrics, that we could be collaging these down. Right. So you have another technique. So, Corey, can you pause for one second? Yeah. All right. So now you have another technique. This is more of a collage Right. Method. Well, a floral collage. A floral collage. And then this is also a collage, but it's done. I call it the painterly approach, which means it looks more like paint strokes. That is, that's my intention of it. Yes. Um, but your fabrics are cut into strips, 
and, and so collage. look at this right here and here's a fish yeah and here's another one okay and this is which pattern this is called making fish okay and you can make it into how many different fish are in here um, you can make them into place now? well on a particular kit that i sell i have a kit that will do 12 fish okay you can turn it into placemats you can turn it into a quilt you can turn it into a bed runner um people have done a lot of different things with them it's wonderful um this is really a fun easy technique and it's really fast and you kind of get addicted to making fish i have i didn't do the painterly one and I, this is the steer which yes. people may recognize too but i i actually want to do this as almost like a puzzle for our family mm -hmm. and have a big table that's oh, just that up all so the time fun. and have everybody just sit around and lay fabrics right. down in different hues and just chat and yeah. talk and, it, and the thing about it. it is is it looks really intimidating but it really isn't it isn't i mm -hmm. saw the yeah. ladies all do it <laughs> and i can't wait to do a painterly technique yeah. with your patterns i'm really excited about it right. but once again i'm going to pace myself yeah. We all have to pace yes. ourselves, right? We you do. You have to cook dinner once in a while, Yeah, right? yeah, we do. Yeah. We do. So we don't have to do everything at once. We can learn different techniques right. at different stages. So, But I really want to thank you. It was so fun to finally meet you and to actually learn this technique from you. Okay, so tell us where you, we can find you. Okay, my website is fiberworks dash heine h-e-i-n-e dot com okay and there we can find you on instagram on yes. facebook on instagram and facebook i'm under fiberworks quilt shop okay so because you do own a quilt store yes in addition to all yes. of this and you actually design fabrics and yes tons of other things very multifaceted yes i have a, a new line coming out with free spirit later on this year i can't wait and it's sort of uh, focused around my collage. So really, yeah. Oh, I can't exciting. wait. I'll be there to purchase that. So All that'll right. be wonderful. All right. Okay. Well, thank you guys. Uh, put any messages down and be sure to follow Laura. And I, I can't wait to see what I create. So, and if you have been making some of these, tag me in it or tag Laura. Yeah. I'd love to see what you're making, but I'm going to hashtag and search all the hashtags and admire everything on social media too. All right. Thanks you guys. Thank you.